Hey there. So the calendar functionality within TickTick is one of the selling points of TickTick. A lot of people really like using the calendar feature within TickTick to help time block their tasks and to help schedule out their days and their weeks and even their months. But to be honest, I've never been a big user of the calendar for whatever reason. I've tried to use it in the past and it just doesn't fit my workflow for some reason. But recently I discovered there's another pseudo calendar view within TickTick that I really like and I've really been using a lot lately. So in this video, I'll show you this new pseudo calendar view that I've been using lately. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so jumping in here to TickTick now, just wanna quickly review the standard calendar functionality before we jump into the new pseudo calendar view that I have discovered. So over on the left side, you'll see the calendar icon. This is the calendar view. You can click on it and you can get a list of your tasks you know, if they're due today, which is uh, October 17th, you're gonna see them all pile up here on October 17th. The reason they're all stacked up here at the top is because they don't have a uh, time on them. And we could just drag these down here to say, well, I'm gonna do this one at noon, for example, and it's gonna last about an hour, and things like that. But that's not really what this video is about, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on how to use this calendar view. Uh, but let me just point out a few more things before we move on. Uh, so up here, I'm on the week view. There is also a day view and a month view. And besides that, there's also quite a few features over here on the uh, right side. So there's a filter option. Uh, you can arrange tasks. It gives you some different options on you know how to color code the calendar entries. If you want to do it based on lists, tags, or priorities, things like that. But for whatever reason, like I mentioned before, this calendar view um, never really worked for me. I don't, I don't use it at all, really, to be honest. Uh, so let me go back to the uh, task list. And before I move on, I wanna show one other option that doesn't get talked about too much. But if I come up here to the upper right, three dots, the more menu, and I'm just within my inbox right now, and you can do this on any list, but you can change the view. And one of the view options is the timeline view. And this is also sort of a calendar view that you know you might find useful. Um, so you can see, again, it gives me like a week view. And I can see my tasks spread out through the week. So there are also other views here. Um, you can also choose week view to zoom out a little bit and then month view to zoom out even further. Here also there are some options on the right side to arrange tasks and the different view options to change how the color coding works. And so again, this is another option. It doesn't get talked about too much. And this is another view that I really don't find that useful either in my day-to-day -day work. So let me switch this back to um, the regular task view. So now let's get into the new view that I've discovered that I actually have been using quite a bit. So the first thing we have to do is turn on the next seven days smart list. So I can see over here in my left navigation pane, I have inbox, I have today, and I have all. Those are kind of my smart list that I have enabled right now. Um, but I want to enable the next seven days. So I'm gonna go up to my profile picture, click on settings, go to smart list. And I can see right now the next seven days is marked as hide. And I'm just gonna change that to show. All right, click done. Tick, tick reloads. And so now I have the next seven days list over here on the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to go into the next seven days view. And here I can see the tasks are broken down by day. You know, I have today, tomorrow, and so on. And this works pretty good, and I actually don't mind this view. I use it quite a bit. But more recently, TickTick has made the Kanban view available for all smart lists. And this has been a powerful enhancement for a number of reasons, um, but one that I've discovered is on next seven days. So I'm gonna go up and go to my more menu, the three dots in the upper right corner. Right now I'm on the list view, and I'm just gonna change that to the Kanban view. All right, so this is the pseudo calendar view that I've been talking about. You can see I've got my days across the top. 
starting with today on the left side, going to tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and so on. And it's all grouped in columns. And it goes through the next seven days, which is nice. That's what we would expect. But I found this view very useful. Um, you know, with today being on the left side, this is primarily where I'm looking at. I'm looking at my tasks that are due today. Um, you know, I'm clicking in them, I'm updating them, adding comments to them, due dates, so forth, whatever I need to do. Uh, but I also have visibility to what's coming up tomorrow, which, you know, is kind of in my peripheral in this view. I'm not necessarily looking at tomorrow or Thursday or Friday, but it's easy for me to just glance over there and see what I have coming up. And if I need to, you know, I can move things around. So like draw a picture of a sound. Maybe I know I'm not going to get to that today. So let me just pull that over here to tomorrow. And so now it's in my tomorrow list. And I like the visual of this view more than the calendar view or the timeline view. One other thing I want to point out here is up at the top next to the title, there's another icon here. And this allows you to collapse the left navigation pane. And that way you can get a little more visibility. Maybe you can get a few more days within view. And so that might also be useful, especially in this view. Well, that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments. Do you use the calendar view? How about the timeline view? Or maybe you think the Kanban view of the next seven days, my pseudo calendar view might be useful. Let me know. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.